Hey guys, Monica AI is like having a personal assistant for all your tasks. Just sign up, set up your preferences, and Monica helps you organize everything from managing your schedule to sending reminders and tracking goals. It's super intuitive and saves time, so you can focus on what really matters. So hello guys and welcome back in another video where I will show you step by step how to use Monica AI. The first step that you have to do is just open your browser and dive into Monica. I will show you how you can do that. You can just open your browser like that and you dive into Monica and you click over enter and you click over the first one that appear for you. Alright, so then you'll find here this page as you can see. I already have an account here and I called Moha, so I just kind of nick nickname. Right now, I will show you how you can get started. You have here two ways. The first one, you click over add to Grom, it's free. You'll find here Monica and you click over add to Brave and you get started to add it to Brave. And we have the second option, which is clicking over here and the top right will find here the button of sign in. You'll find other page, which is this one. You click over log in if you already have an account, but we don't have an account. I will click up here above sign up for free. Then I will use one of these three ways. The first one, which is connected with Google, or sign up, start inscription with Google, or start inscription with email or Apple. So we choose the one you want or the one you think it's better. So I selected already here email, and I will add email address and then password and the nickname. That's why I have here Moha in the top because I choose here Moha. So I think it's a funny name or it's a funny nickname, but you can choose the whatever you want. All right. So let's get started right now. And here we have the home page once you're done with your inscription as well. So first, let's know what is Monica. Monica AI is like your personal digital assistant that helps you stay organized. It keeps track of your tasks, reminds you of important things and helps you manage your schedule all in one place, making life a bit easier. All right, so let's get started right now by here checking those options that we have in the right. Also, we, let's just starting with this one. So I already here select this one. I will just click over new shot because here I will already select the case, which is website cooperation email generator. You will understand after because here we have in the right. So what if well, here we have read and we have your posts. I will just select this one, the case that we will talk about. That's why it's up here here. So right now we'll just click over here to find a new chat And here we have how it looks. We have here Monica as you can see and here we select the One that you want for example the LGBT, Lama, Gemini We have a first things in one platform. That's the benefits of this website. So let's get started right now So firstly is just ask something for example, what's what is difference Difference between ChatGPT, GPT, and Monica. So let's just click over enter, and here we have it right now. So we have responsible style, we have proportionate focus, and here we have functionality. So ChatGPT offers general capabilities without specific modification. Monica could include additional functionalities or constraints, constraints designed for particular tasks or use needs. Then we have here responsible style chat GPT aims for a broad conversational style suitable for diverse topics. Monica might have a more defined style or set of rules to ensure consistency in responses. All right, then we have also purpose and focus is general. So you will say that chat GPT, we ask here Monica, of course, Monica will give us his benefits, but I will show you how we can, how I, why I said actually. Monica is better. So you know ChatGPT use it and you daily life. So I will show you why. By first like clicking over posts. So in ChatGPT we don't have specific things and we don't have various things. We have only ChatGPT you can ask whatever you want and you get your information then you go. But about this one you will find a various options in one platform and that's the benefit of this one. We have firstly here for example, we have travel planner. You select the case that you want and you start here talking about. Then we have here, if we come back to the boats, you will find here top. You have models, the niche that you want, productivity, developer, education, product, marketing. We have design, research, lifestyle as well. Right? So you can just choose the one you want and you get started. Also, we have other options, which is search. For example, we have here the case, the case that 
so a specific case that you want to talk about you have just to ask what if you want here and you get started with the case if you are here we have some cases you can just select the one you want for example apple's latest iphone will release meta's new virtual reality headset ratio acronym for developments and the various no novels by the way right then we have also here other option which is read so for example you can just right now upload here one book or you can enter uh, like youtube medium and just click over here read and then you get started with this one and here we have read also we have other options which is right so about this one we have three options in the top which is compose reply and grammar so about compose we have it right about you have just to tell what to write for you hit control the plus enter to generate but firstly you have to select the land if you want to auto so we have more details in this application that's why it's good and that's why we have a various benefits in monica so for example we have your auto short medium long about format you select if you want to email message comment because in ChatGPT you can just say to uh, something special then you have to more explain if it's a paragraph or comment or article but in this way in this one you don't have to ask firstly then you select which specific thing that you want you select it before because you don't have time that's why if you you have just enough time to start researching for something that's related to ideas you have just to select ideas and you select here friendly and you select if it's professional then you select medium and you click over here which language that you want and you click over generate that's why and then we have also here for reply you have just two original texts what to reply and we have here grammar you can here paste the text below in order to check for grammar spelling and functionality functional punctuation sorry punctuation punctuation by the way errors and you click over here check with ai and you will get here the modification by the way then also we have here the option of translate so we have a various things in this platform you should get started with it so we have also here for example you select which language that you want and also here which language that you want and you get started for example let's just give an example with work it's just an example and they will click on translate so here work we have three options three resources for example we have a google translate and we have gpt for oh many and we have microsoft drive uh, translate you will find here the same word so it's a correct thing and we have the same thing right so let's just now right now move into the ai edge about this one you'll find here you, you just saw one actor, actor and you don't know what is it or someone who is benefits you have just to describe the picture characters send and style you imagine then you click over send and it will be appear here and you have just to ask about it what is his name and then you search more and what about it also we have your talk it so for example we have talk it i am your smart little helper equipped with a sort of nifty tools designed to tackle tasks with ease for example we have your chat with pdf you have easily get intelligent summaries and answers for your documents ai resume scanner quick candidate assessment and interview questions pdf to word convert your pdf to word documents then you have pdf to gpg convert each pdf page to a separate gpg file then we have ucr PDF, then we have AI resume checker, invoice scanner, PDF to PNG, PDF to PPT as well. Then we have a memo. About this one, you have just to put what's in your mind and you start chatting and you will find here the results about introducing memo. Here we have memo is your exclusive AI knowledge base. You can collect any web page. AI chat records images and PDF information as well. All right. So that's it for this platform. And this is it for this video, guys. I hope it has been useful and helpful. And see you again in the next video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you have any question, feel free to ask in the comment section below. I will be happy to help you guys. Have a fantastic day ahead.